Good day everybody, this is the first Adobe Illustrator tutorial of a series of tutorials that I'll be creating for Illustrator. In today's tutorial I'll be talking about Adobe panels and everything there is about it. Uh, I won't actually go into complete depth in each and every panel what they do. That's for a future tutorial. Today I'll just basically tell you, be showing you how they work. Now, it's very fortunate of us that Adobe organizes the panels in basic and uh, groupings. So all the color, color, the color guide, everything to do with color, so the stroke, the grain, transparency, they're all together. Um, it's quite fantastic. So usually everything that has worked together, the graphics are out there. Now. With if you don't want the tabs like this, you want them floating in the air like uh, like a window. So all you have to do in that case is go over wherever the t uh, tabs, tab handles, and click down and then drag and let go. As you can see, I now have the cutter winner right over here. Another useful thing is if you find this win this panel way too small for your needs, say if it's you want it bigger go like this, you just take the handle right here until your mouse changes, go like that, and you can also make a water. You usually don't need to, but some panels you do need extra space. Now I'm going to bring them back over here because I prefer my panels all on the right hand side. Now everything, everything that might actually happen when you're working on a project is, the project is that you you find that you're switching between two panels, say color guide and color, and you're like, no, that's way too many clicking. You want them in two separate panels, so you can like, get them at the same time. So all you have to do is you select whatever tabs, drag it, and you drag it underneath. And it's in its own panel panel window. Now, another thing you could do is you could add any of these tabs to a different section. So do the same thing, click on the tab here, the handle, drag it, and you could add it to a window. See as soon as it highlights, it means you could add it there. And now I have the color guy with the transparency, gradient, and a stroke. I'm going to put it back to where it was. There. Now, another useful aspect of the dual panels is the way you can minimize it. So let's say you have so many panels open. Let's give you an example. And <clears throat> you notice that there's like ah, there's not enough space for the gradient. No, I have to scroll down for appearance. And like it's just way too, way too much. It's way too clutter. Good way to free up some space is go to where the handles of the panels that you're not using say so say I'm not going to use any transparency for the you know, for the next five ten minutes so all we have to do is click on this arrow right here and it minimizes it if not they don't always have a double arrow like that so if that's the case you just double click over the tab handle and it minimizes it and what you could do is right click minimize. So it's quite useful. Now, what if you're looking at gradient and you're like, I don't use gradients. Uh, I never will use gradients. And you know, it's not necessary to have. So all you have to do is get rid of it. So you right click and you go close. And it's gone. And another useful functionality of the Adobe panels is if you're working on a project and you want to have some more space to work on, you know, this area is taking way too much screen real estate. So all you have to do in that case is you can minimize it. So you go to the top right here and you, and you go over the double arrows right here. You know, say collapse to icons. So you just click collapse to icons and it collapse. Or what we can do is you just double click on the top and collapse it for yourself. Now, now our useful functionality is that Adobe 
on the top right here you might see essentials, might be called something else, you know. It gives you groupings of various tasks uh, are pre-made for you. So let's say we're working with typography, so that's text, so like typefaces, kerning, and so on, you know. Alright, so let's go typography. And open up all the panels that you need for typography. So you have the character, so different type of typefaces paragraph, have a single paragraph and information about your open open type. No, that's great. Now one I have to tell you two more things about Adobe panels. One is each panel has various options that you could use. So if you go to the top right of each panel you have a drop down menu and here it gives you more options of the various panels, which is the case for most Adobe software. Now, one last thing, if there's a panel that's open that I'm using in a future tutorial and that you don't have, you have no, you don't have it anywhere else on the screen, uh, all you have to do is, don't worry, let's go to window, and right here it has a list of all the panels available to Adobe, Adobe Illustrator. And the ones with the check mark on the side are the ones that are active. So let's say let's activate the Pathfinder uh, tool. So I'm going to activate it and it pops it right there. So I know it's not very interesting this tutorial. Uh, so I'll leave it at that. And however, I will say that the future tutorials will be a lot more interesting. We'll play with colors, we'll be creating uh, awesome illust illustrations and yeah, and everything else. Anyways, take care.